Are you new to Melbourne? Oh. It must be super confusing and frustrating to figure out where the main area is and how to get to those places. Driving. <laughs> and to be honest, I wasn't any better when I first came here seven years ago. And to be frankly, I was quite shit. That's why for the first year I came here, for like the longest time, I just stayed home. Because I didn't know how to get the places. You suck! But... Luckily for you guys, I'm gonna come up with a super detailed plan about the different types of public transport in Melbourne and I'm also gonna write down the main routes in the CBD area so for those of you that are either living here or just travelling for a few days, it will be quite helpful So before we get into it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for consequences Okay, let's go! First one is the bus. There are so many buses in Melbourne. They cover most of the areas and there are even buses for night hours. But if you're catching buses, make sure you get there 5 to 10 minutes early. Because sometimes they not only show up late, they show up early. Sometimes I'll get there right on time, but the bus will literally drive straight Bye, past me because they arrived early. Hello, so I'm heading to the bus stop right now. I feel like buses are pretty straightforward. It's just that most of the time they're not punctual. Like they either come really early or they come really late. Hey, that's my bus stop. Honestly, I don't know why there's two seats here, but I'm not complaining. So right now, the hardest part is to wait for the bus. Where's my bus? Yeah, so my bus is five minutes late again. It's quite normal. Like, five minutes is not that bad. I've waited for like half an hour before. Like, I don't know why the bus just never showed up. I'm getting impatient. Ah, uh, here we go. So, this is what the buses look like. Just don't forget to track where you're going. I'll put the suggestion of apps down below so you guys can have a look because you actually need to press a button or else the bus wouldn't stop so you actually need to know where you're getting off Hehe, <laughs> this is my stuff Then it's the trams They fit more people and they are relatively more punctual I would say One thing is, if there's a protest in the city, it's probably better for you to walk <laughs> Yeah. Because walking will be a lot faster. There are also free tram stops in the city, so you don't have to pay for any fees. Which I'm going to show you right now where they are and some of my favorite spots that I usually get off at. So let's start with the tram stop right outside Flinders Street Station. So if you catch a tram here, basically any tram you hop on will get to Melbourne Central and Chinatown. <laughs> here we go. Bro, why is this so slow? Let me just speed it up. Yeah, so much nicer now. Look at all these constructions. There's gonna be a new station here soon. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the town hall. So when I was filming this, it was during Christmas season. You can see all the decorations and the little trees and flowers. Oh my god. So uh, there's a stop here on Little Burke Street. I'm not gonna buy anything, so I'm not gonna get off here. But it's just majority of shops. So if you like shopping a lot, yeah, you should get off here. So this stop is Chinatown. If you get off here and walk straight down this street, there's a lot of good Asian food. So this is QV, one of the largest um, shopping places in the CBD. I always go there with my friends. And it's really close to this stop that I'm going to get off. I'm not going to show you guys the inside in this video, but if you guys are interested, comment down below and I'll go film it. Oh my god, after 10 billion years, I finally got off. So this is the Melbourne Central tram stop and right across it, it's the state library. A lot of people will sit outside on the grass area, but there's also a lot of pigeon and seagull which will <laughs> steal your food. Then it's trains. They're the fastest out of all. Pretty convenient, but sometimes there will be construction going on for the trains, which they will have replacement buses, but then again, for the buses, I guess. <laughs> and don't forget to touch on because it's my king's favorite. 
You see all these stops? These are like lip stops for all the chain. I think I'm the platform 5 one. Nope. I just missed the train, but normally it doesn't take that long to wait anyways, like around roughly 5 minutes. Been fucking for a while, baby. Still haven't seen your bad side. Your clothes all on the ground. If they take a look around, they would think you probably stay in mine. I'm ducking all these hoes lately. Can't check, but I those brown eyes, yeah. I'll toss another round, baby. Let me take you down now. Just I got 24 hours to your lips. So when you get on the elevator, this is what it looks like. There's different train lines in different sessions. And the overall film industry station just looks like this. Oh my god, look at what I found! It's a candy store! I love candies. I don't know about you guys, but normally when I go buy a pack of lollies, I won't be able to finish the whole pack. But if I just buy a few candies from each flavor, I can eat every one of them. Oh my god, got them confessionary good! All oh, these chickens. I call them pigeon because they're so chubby. Huh? This is Fling the Shit Station. I feel like a tourist.
Now you must be thinking, how much should they cost? I'll put down the detail of the course, which is on their official website, on the caption below. So if you're interested, you can have a look. Alright, that's it for today's video. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.